<laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So I think I've tried to make this video about um, two or three times now. Every time I do, uh, we see a new rule come out, but I would like to try and do sort of at least weekly updates talking a little bit about the new rules being previewed for 9th and how they could affect our faction. So the first thing that we have seen recently are some of the updates to terrain rules. Um, now terrain looks like it's getting a complete overhaul with a huge amount of new rules. We've, we've only seen a few of them, so we've got light cover, heavy cover, obscuring, this sort of thing. Obscuring looks very similar to the ITC Magic Boxes, um, just with a couple of different changes in there and obviously we can make use of that. But the light and heavy cover is a bonus to armor save that we don't necessarily really benefit from. But what is going to be interesting is to see how we can get around that using our flip belts, because if we can ignore those kind of cover bonuses, that's definitely going to be a plus for us. Then um, we've also got changes to Overwatch. Now Overwatch is now a stratagem, which is actually for us really fantastic. I think it's good for the game as a whole because it reduces that a huge amount of time, I, mean, I think it's going to reduce the time in gameplay. I also just, I, I've never particularly liked Overwatch as as it has stood simply because like it has doubled down on the shooting potential of some of the armies. Like, and, and some armies can just do it so much that it's like, you know, as a combat army, you're, you're already hamstringed, you know? And I think just having that little bit of reduction to the damage that we're going to take is going to be really, really beneficial to us. Particularly when we have our DJ that we can plug in just to ignore Overwatch anyway. We just have to think strategically about how and when we want to charge and which units. Um, and I think that's going to be actually a real, a real benefit for us. Um, counteracting that, however, there is now a change to charges or multi-charges essentially, where you, when you roll for the charge distance, you have to be able to reach every single unit that you declare for a charge, which it makes sense for the changes to the Overwatch. I think actually it will, it will stop a lot of, well, it would stop us basically multi-charging absolutely everything within 12 inches, every single part of the game. But I mean, it is, it is definitely a slight nerf, but I do think it's a good change now that we've got this this issue with um, with Overwatch or this change to Overwatch. Um, so I think it will also change some of our stratagems or the usefulness of some of our stratagems, particularly things like, you know, our consolidation, those sorts of things, because we're not going to be able to kind of consolidate fight again, uh, someone else who was further away, this sort of thing. It's kind of a shame in some ways, but, you know, these combos were quite expensive as they were. And, and honestly, I don't think it's such a bad thing that we are going to be more focused on certain things and, and again being a bit more strategic with how we decide to make these charges. Um, so those two were some pretty serious changes. Another serious change is to the character rule. Now characters before, as long as they weren't the closest enemy model, they couldn't be targeted at all, which it led to some very janky play. And now what they're saying is that you need a screening unit. So you need something within three inches um, to not be uh, to be the closest enemy uh, unit in front of your character to stop it being shot off the board. Ascent it makes sense, doesn't it? Really, I mean, you know, just from a real from a realism perspective as well. Um, but also, I think it is probably quite good for the game. It just means that we, our, our army composition is going to have to take that into account. So we're no longer just going to be doubling down on characters running around on our own. Instead, it's going to make more use of things like, you know, the, the role allowing a Solitaire to deep strike or um, even things like Void Weavers sitting out in the backfield and screening out our DJs so that they don't get targeted by long range firepower. I think it's going to lead to a lot more variety in army composition for us. And that's actually, I think that's a very good thing. I, I like the idea that everything within our codex suddenly becomes a little bit more viable. I've even heard people talking a little bit about things like you know, the webway gate, which you've never seen on the tabletop really, other than as a terrain piece. Some people may be in narrative games, but you don't take one in your army, do you? Um, you know, it's it could have a place now, which which would be really nice to see. It would be re it's a beautiful, beautiful kit, and it would be really nice to see some use for that. Um, Finally, we've got a small change in terms of we've seen one of the stratagems that has been released. 
the stratagem basically allows you to to, you know, to sort of jump away from a try point pointing unit. So you know there's there's been this tactic of try pointing a particular model so that they can't escape combat. With other buffs to combat, they're trying to get away from that and give people at least the option to be able to fall back. It does, however, cost two CP, and if you can force someone to do that and then use something like Twilight Encore to then hold yourself back in combat, you can waste, you know, your opponent's CP. They will only ever do it once. Either way, um, a lot of these changes I think have been quite positive so far for the game as a whole. For us, there's some some you know good and bad things, but that's kind of the nature of the game. I don't think there's been anything that has been a significantly direct buff to us or a significantly direct nerf except the minus one to hit. Um, but there are definitely things, if this is going to be more of a combat addition, um, that are going to benefit the Harlequins a lot, I think. But let me know what you think. Have I missed something as well? I mean, there have been so many rules releases this last week that I probably missed something. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you want to continue the discussion as well, we do have a Ghost of the Webway Facebook page where all of us discuss some of these rules in a bit more depth too. So I'll put a link down below for that. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'm really, really loving the fact that we're seeing lots of new faces on here. It's great to have new members of the community to come in and discuss. As I've always said, that's kind of the aim behind this channel and let's keep it going. Thank you guys. I've been Kit. This has been Ghost of the Webway and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.